Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah from the marketing team, and I'm here with Clint Hansen. Hello. We are here to answer your questions. We are super psyched about it. Today, mm. we have a fantastic question from our friend, Chipotle Lover82, who's ah. been giving us a lot of love lately on YouTube. We appreciate it, Chipotle Lover. The question is... With 223 Wild Barrels gaining in popularity and its supposed increased accuracy over 556 barrels, are there any advantages to purchasing a 556 barrel over the 223 Wild anymore? I, I wouldn't necessarily look at it as an advantage or disadvantage. Let's look at this whole thing here, in terms of your question, as the right tool for the job. Here at Ballistic Advantage, we have modern series and performance series. So from the 556 standpoint, that covers the NATO round itself, the 556 NATO in those two series. And then when you go up to the premium package, now you're gonna be in a stainless steel 223 Wild, mm -hmm. okay? So now that we got that out of the way, there's a reason for both, um, depending on the type of shooting you're going to do. So if I'm going to the range and I wanna just simply target shoot, plank, um, you know, I'm not going to put the, the rifle through a big, you know, a whole lot of, of a beating, you know, mm -hmm. so to speak. I'm not going to be shooting at full auto. Um, it's not going to withstand that kind of heat, and I want it more. I want to, I want to maintain that accuracy uh, in a package that I'm only going to shoot, you know, one round, say, every, you know, few seconds. Not that you can't shoot it harder, it won't withstand it, but ideally, that's what should steer your decision, okay? When I'm looking for more accuracy, more of a more of a, a package built around um, being precise like that, I'm gonna choose the 223. Now, when I'm looking to go do a training course or something I'm just gonna run ragged or add a demo, I'm gonna shoot full auto, I'm gonna go with either a modern or performance 556 five, NATO because that's gonna be my workhorse. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the rig that I use that's gonna withstand a ton of heat and even suppress fire, full auto fire, and it's gonna keep on coming back for more. Now, whether you're shooting 223 or 556 and you're a good shooter, I think the difference is gonna be minimal in terms of accuracy. Both are gonna be severely accurate. You both get the MOA guarantee that we offer here at Ballistic Advantage. You know, I don't think one's wrong or better or off. There's a reason for both, absolutely. Another thing to note, you know, in terms of uh, durability for our modern and performance series is that it is QPQ coated, okay? So we've got a little bit more of a resistance there, corrosion resistance and, and rigidity, you know, kind of like uh, uh, what anodize is to aluminum or uh, hard chocolate to a vanilla ice cream cone, okay? Just kind of keeps it all intact and keeps it better. That is the basic rule of thumb throughout our series. Uh, I think 224 Valkyrie and 65 Creedmoor and Grendel are the only three that we do not offer in a QPQ or chromoly vanadium. All those would be standard, uh, standard stainless steel uh, 416R. If you got any more questions or something along these lines, let us know. Great. Thanks so much, Clint, for your answer. Thanks so much, Chipotle Lover82, for your fantastic question. Guys, if you want the chance to see your question answered by Clint Hansen, please comment below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you see all of our latest videos. We have a new Q&A video up every Thursday. And yeah, give us a big thumbs up if you love this video. We can't wait to see what you send us. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. I wonder why he calls himself that, Chipotle. We need to find out. <laughs> if this winds up in the outtakes, hey, <laughs> please put that in the uh, comments below of why you call yourself that. Respond. I don't know if it's from the restaurant or the actual Tell pepper itself. Why. Maybe he invented Chipotle. Ooh, maybe. Maybe it's the president of Chipotle. Now that's all I can think about. Maybe he'll send us free Chipotle for life because we answered his question. That would be awesome. There's an idea. You know where I go huh? more though? Qdoba. Oh, well don't tell him that.